Hello and welcome to today's beginners tutorial. I'm Bill Holcomb and today I'm going to guide you through painting your first watercolour landscape and sky. All you need is some watercolour paper, three brushes and five colours, so let's get painting. I'm starting by using a mop size brush, something like 24, whatever you have available, to put some clear water on the surface of the paper. And then when I have left certain areas without any water on them, I'm adding a clear wash of cobalt blue for the sky. So I'm painting around where the white clouds will be, those areas that I put a water wash on, because I'm wanting the blue to fuse into the white so that'll get as many soft edges as possible and uh, at the horizon level i've got a mixture of blue cobalt blue with alizarin crimson just a light mixture and those clouds are smaller and i'm fusing in the edges of where the blue meets the white clouds and you can actually just um, clean your brush off, dip it in some clear water, and then lay that clear water on those edges to allow them to fuse in together. I'm just neatening up here and there where I want a little bit more blue, and then clean, clean off my brush, and neaten up the edges again with clear water. Just a continuous process to end up with the cloud shapes that you wish to see in your version of this painting. So see little hard edges there and there that are now cleared up. And you can see where I'm putting some more blue down there. It was starting to have a bit of a hard edge in the blue, so I've softened it up by adding some more blue into it. You just have to watch what's happening with the drying of the painting and if you see a situation developing you can attack it in the way I've just done. So add in a little bit more um, dark pigment to the clouds at the horizon level and have been using a number 10 and number 12 whichever you have available round pointed brush for this part of the painting. This is really an easy painting for beginners for sky and landscape in watercolour and I wish I'd had videos like this available to me when I was making my efforts at watercolour painting over 40 years ago. So use a hair dryer to dry that off speed up the process, then go into a winter yellow wash and then a greened version by adding some blue, some cobalt blue, so winter yellow and uh, if the pigment is too much you can take it off softly with a tissue like I just did then I've added some permanent sap green and then at the very bottom some light red so it gets darker um, the more it comes to the foreground, um, the darker it is. And then at the horizon level, the furthest away from you, it's lighter. So achieve that effect when you're laying down the washes. And once again, handy hair dryer to dry that off and neaten up the clouds here and there with that clear wash of water on the brush and the use of the tissues. I think the clouds here are looking quite effective. I hope you feel the same. And I think you'll enjoy having a go at this one for beginners. It's a nice, interesting cloud shape. The landscape is an easy one. You'll be seeing a few little trees added and hills in the distance and so forth, which are laid down very easily, which I'll describe to you. So continuing to neaten up and that we're nearly ready for the trees and here they come. So number four uh, pointed brush, uh, pointed rounded pointed brush. 
Um, so use the side of the brush at first to sort of scrape in the tree shapes and, and have them interesting, not just one big blob that gaps in between and so forth. Um, you vary the color, color a little bit like I've done. And whilst it's wet, you can add some other color to the shadow side like I've done. Then the distant hill, a bluey sort of green because the further away it is, the bluer it gets. It's not so distinct, a little bit misty. And I can use a tissue again to vary the uh, hue, to, to vary the intensity of that distant hillside. Uh, I can lay in some limbs, some trunks, uh, branches here and there at the base of the tree and part way up to help indicate the tree shapes. Just enough to tell a story, very easily done using your, your smallest brush. And then um, you can do a little bit more scraping of the side of the brush, the number four, to just finish off those various tree shapes and um, see at the top there just getting a, a nicer shape of the tree making it a little bit taller you, in that fashion it makes it so much easier to achieve the results that you want then what we will be doing is fixing those trees to the landscape effectively because they're floating a bit now but look when you add in some dark, again, at the base, you're fixing them to landscape. And here I should have mentioned before, but I've decided at the last minute to use a flat brush. You could easily use a round pointed brush for this part of the process. But I'm here just showing you the difference if I chose a flat brush instead. So they're fixed much better to the landscape. And then we've got a few ridges in the landscape here and there just your mix of greens you can decide the intensity that you want do remember to like and subscribe because if you do so it's all free and you'll see future videos you'll be notified of them you can still see them but you'll get notification of them which um, will keep you up to date with what's going on and that's a quick and easy uh, landscape in watercolor for beginners of sky and landscape I hope you've enjoyed it. I know you will be able to learn a great deal from that if you're a beginner. And this is the finished painting with the reveal of the tape being taken off. And I think it looks quite effective and didn't take too long. I know you could achieve that. Thanks for watching and see you next time.